right, so we are live. Lab Code Agents, thanks for tuning in again. We've been just blowing it up with amazing information. And today we've got Dan with us. Dan's joining us from Atlanta, but it sounds like he's in Mardi Gras. So if you hear some trumpets <laughs> and some amazing jazz music, that's coming from his side. Thank you, Dan. And then we've got Casey, Casey O'Toole. He and his brother and a friend of theirs, Spencer, uh, created a product called My Linked Solution about a year ago, dude. Has it been a year? Um, almost a year. It's been about eight months since it's been live. Dude, I feel like I've been using this for years. So, <laughs> uh, anyway, we met for the first time before they created the product, and we met at Starbucks in, in my town. We talked, we engaged, and I thought, dude, these guys are super smart. Let's connect. And, and now we're doing this LinkedIn webinar. By the way, dude, I don't think we've ever talked about LinkedIn in the group. So are you ready? I'm ready. All right, dude. So tell me a little bit about yourself. You are a real estate agent and you also create stuff. So tell us. Yeah. So um, thanks, Tristan, first of all. So yeah, I'm, I'm a real estate agent. I'm with Keller Williams out of Santa Barbara, California. Um, I joined my brother's real estate practice about two and a half or three years ago. Um, Sean's been a top agent in Ventura for about 13 or 14 years. He needed extra help. So I'm like, you know, and he kind of recruited me onto his team, but I'm not really a realtor by nature per se. I'm, um, I'm more of like a, like a, a data nerd. I have a, a master's degree in data science. And so what I, what I brought to Sean's practice is the ability to kind of use my background to integrate kind of, the whole world of data and systems integration and <laughs> okay. new, more innovative ways to generate business online. I love that, dude. I love that. So I actually didn't know you had a degree in, in what did you say, data? It's, it's quantitative methods, but it's basically data analytics. So I can manage massive data sets and kind of pull out some good information. No wonder you know what you're talking about every time we talk. <laughs> but, so, I, I mean, but believe it or not, like I'm not the brains, like the, the real brains is Spencer, who's our CTO. He's the one dude, that, so, kind of, he's, so he's this out. Man. I'm going to interrupt you on that because the first time I talked to you, I think it was, I talked to you and, and Sean and I go, wow, dude, Casey, Casey's a super smart dude. Right. And then uh, you guys introduced me to Spencer and I'm like, what? I mean, I don't even understand what the hell he's saying sometimes. <laughs> and, and I know stuff and I know, you know, stuff. So that guy's in a, on a completely different level. Yeah. No, it's like, it's like he translates to me what he knows from our, our, all of our developers. And I translate to Sean and everyone else what I know from, from Spencer. So you're right. I mean, we have a really amazing, an amazing team. And like all of our skill sets put together just works really well, man. It's great. I agree, dude. You guys are, you guys are uh, doing it right. Great team. All right. So, dude, let's get right into it. A lot of agents know about LinkedIn. They even have an account on LinkedIn. But what we find is a lot of the LinkedIn profiles for real estate agents are silent. They're dormant. People aren't using them. I think if I can count uh, the people that are using LinkedIn for social the right way on one hand, I think I only need one finger. So <laughs> the only person that comes to mind for me is Shaniqua. Shaniqua Badger, which is a moderator in our group. I'm trying to think of anybody else as a real estate agent. Uh, I think that's it, man. So help us. Tell us what we're missing. Show your screen. Tell us what the hell we should be doing. I mean, you're, I mean, first of all, if you are thinking that that, I mean, like a lot of realtors are in the same boat as you are and pretty much everyone else is. And that's one of the first kind of comments that I get when we do demos and we kind of talk to realtors about our product is, <laughs> is, you know, yes, I have a LinkedIn profile. I haven't logged in in about four months, so I don't know what's going on with it. Uh, people want me to be their, their friend, but I don't really know if I should connect with them. It's just this, it's this unknown kind of ether of social media that very few people know how to optimize and then leverage for their own business. And so, I mean, you know, when I was kind of researching different ways to apply my skills to figure out a way to generate business, you know, I was looking into Facebook, I was looking into Instagram, I was looking into email, I was looking into all these different ways to generate business. But 
you know, one reason why I like LinkedIn is because no one was using it effectively. Um, I mean, and nobody, LinkedIn, and nobody is still using it effectively, dude. Well, I mean, I'll take that back. Not a lot of realtors are using it effectively. I, effectively, I would say less than 1% of real estate agents are using it effectively. 100%. Yeah, and, and that's it. So, and so that's kind of why we kind of focus on LinkedIn. But LinkedIn is where you will find clients. So the way I like to kind of put it is LinkedIn today is where Facebook was four or five years ago, right? It's a very virgin territory. Not many people are using it, which is why you should be doing it. Um, I mean, it's where all the professionals are. And so the way I like to put it also is, you know, you go to Facebook to get leads, you go to LinkedIn to get clients. And oh, wow, dude, that's a big difference. I like, dude, I like that statement. Right. And, and so it's, it's just, wow. and, 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 and here's why. So, you know, I, I talked to this pretty smart person a couple of years ago about this. He goes, you know, wait, how wait. do prospect, go ahead. Was that smart person me? <laughs> you know, I, I may have confused him with you, but you know, you guys are both I'm up there. I'm just joking with you, dude. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no. Uh, so he was, so I was talking about, we had a mastermind group and he was helping me figure out how to prospect and all this stuff. And, and he was going like, okay, well, how do people typically find realtors? And he goes, well, the number one way is someone that they've used before. If they haven't bought or sold a home before, then they ask a friend for a referral, right? That's yep. usually the way to kind of create trust and rapport the, the, and have the most loyalty, number one way. The number two way is them doing their own research. So them going online, them looking at your you know, reviews, Googling, you know, top realtor in Santa Barbara, et cetera. Yep. And then that means like they're using their own judgment to find the realtor that they think is, is, is going to be the best. You got and it. So that's where I think we are. So we're in that world. And then the third way is cold calling, lead buying, because you have to overcome that hurdle of creating trust when they don't know who you are. And so a big reason why we think LinkedIn is a really good niche sweet spot is because it's a way for them to do their own research on you before choosing to, to then connect with you, before choosing to message you back. So you're, you're creating this trust on a lot of different levels, but it's them doing their own research and then choosing to respond to you. Well, you know, one thing that, that you, you're not mentioning right now, but you did tell me earlier last year was that LinkedIn has really good Google juice. <laughs> and so when you start fooling around with, with LinkedIn in the right way, what happens is you start appearing higher on, on uh, that Google search. So it sometimes it may be that number one, two, or three spot on Google when you're searching somebody's name. Yep, that's it. And so, yeah, you're 100%, 100% right. So what I've learned is that LinkedIn, I think, actually leases – Google's old SEO algorithms. Oh, so wow, dude. All, all of the tactics that you've been taught on how to increase your search results on Google, you should, wow. be, doing, you should be doing the same thing on LinkedIn. So that when you, so that when someone searches top realtor in Santa Barbara, like that, that's a search bar. You want to be, be the first person, person that shows up on LinkedIn when someone searches that. No way, dude. I didn't know that part. So top realtor in... Westlake. Let's see, Tristan. Let's see if I suck. Go, go, go. Show me <laughs> off. Uh, uh, Westlake, they spell it right. Top oh, real estate. <laughs> yeah. Let's see who shows up, dude. Oh, Mark Raider's on my team. Perfect. I Number win. one. <laughs> Number one result, Mark. <laughs> dude, that is so good. Mark is one of the best agents on my team. Oh, that's the best. I win. And you use our system, everywhere. too. <laughs> I knew I would win. Yeah, well done. So, and, and that's the thing. So, you know, I'm going to take a look at Mark's profile now. So now that, we, now that we kind of brought him out and put him on blast. So let's just take a look at, at his profile and see why exactly he is showing up. And so I've done a lot of research as to like what makes you pop in the search algorithms. And just at first glance, he's doing like the top three things. Most agents don't put a background photo or a banner photo behind their profile. It's a default blue squiggly screen, but you want to be able to put, or you want to put a, a highly um, 
kind of clear, rich media banner behind your profile photo. That's, that's you mean the first like thing. the one he has there that says Tristan and Associates? Uh huh. That uh, works great. Yeah. <laughs> so he's doing that right. Um, having job, another Mark. high quality, rich media image on his profile photo. Another really good best practice. Another important one is not just letting LinkedIn put your default title. Um, so if you didn't put a headline below your name, okay. LinkedIn puts down like, like your default title, which is like a sales executive or whatever you put. Oh. But you can actually customize that headline and to make it seem like you're a much more niche realtor. Kind of put your best foot forward, put best foot forward, make like a mission statement. So it's like real estate sales executive at Keller Williams Realty, Westlake Village. Could I, I mean, if you're telling me that LinkedIn leased out Google's old search algorithm, why don't I just type in as that headline, like um, uh, Malibu Homes for Sale? So you could, um, but what I'd recommend is say, you know, top producing realtor, in Malibu specializing in luxury homes. So, I mean, <laughs> something along those lines, you have luxury, you have homes, you have Malibu, you have top realtor, you have all those, those keywords kind of put into one of the spaces on LinkedIn that has the highest amount of value. Got it. All right, dude, makes sense. I'd probably go for a uh, you know, luxury, luxury real estate agent in Malibu. Now that I'm rethinking this, um, I love that. All right, good tip. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's more. I mean, should I go ahead and get to other, other best practices? I thought the webinar was over, Casey. I thought we <laughs> but okay, go ahead. Oh yeah, there's more. I mean, LinkedIn, I mean, believe me, I mean, as much stuff as you can do to increase your website search results, you can do similar things for LinkedIn. So, I mean, the main, the main takeaway is you wanna be niche. You wanna kind of put yourself into a niche market. Yes. So, the more stuff you can put about your, your specialty, the better. So the first thing, and I'm looking here, what Mark should be doing also is creating a summary. So, I don't, so you can also have a space to add a summary or you can then get into your real estate practices, your real estate philosophy, everything, you know, like talk about your, your different sales achievements you've made in the past so many years. Um, you, know, you can really get into a more description of who you are as a person and how what the experience would be like if this prospective client would want to work with you. And so the more information you put there, the more searchable that is on, on Google. And that's what you're telling me. Yep. And again, include keywords, include um, top realtor, top, you know, luxury sales homes, luxury, everything. Um, Dude, that all, all helps quite a bit. I have a, I have a comment. Pick me. Go for it. <laughs> all right. Um, I feel like such a noob on LinkedIn, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, continue. Just one. Oh, that was that was your comment. That was my comment, dude. Damn it. I could I could have told you that. No. <laughs> well, that's why you have me, man. I. I that's why no. I have you. You kind of do everything for us on LinkedIn. So I just yeah, like. I'm gonna for you. So yeah, let me kind of show you my profile. So. So the other things you want to kind of focus on. Um, are, so, so this is the example of having the summary. So master's graduate, international economics, real estate agent, co-founder of the O'Toole Group, et cetera. So all those keywords. Okay. Um, you wanna have a headline. You also wanna post a lot of really good content. You wanna be portraying yourself as, as a thought leader. So, you know, even like general, I mean, in addition to like the general content posts, like how are interest rates going? Um, you know, 10 reasons why you should buy a home this year. The other ones that are really good are the more authentic posts. So the ones that are, you know, new listing, just closed, great testimonial from a client of mine, okay. um, maybe like a video testimonial. Um, you wanna be able to include rich media that's authentic and, and informative. So you wanna you know, be presented to these folks a, as a thought leader. That's a good point. So I'm, I'm referencing Shaniqua again, right? Uh, but Shaniqua Badger out of, I think, like San Jose, Oakland area around there, uh, yep. California. What she does sometimes is as the news comes out on USA Today or Wall Street Journal or wherever it's coming from, 
<coughs> she then go, goes ahead and interprets that news to the local area that she covers, to that niche area. And then mm -hmm. she, she puts that video into LinkedIn. And so then she looks like that niche professional, which is what you were talking about, right? And yeah. I thought that was so genius of her to do. I'm like, whoa, that's, that's good, man. Yep. So that goes along with what you're saying there. Exactly. Di digest and put it out there. And then, yeah, I mean, just like, and, and be organic, you know, be, be authentic. Um, in this very automated world, people really respect and appreciate authenticity. So similar to how Facebook is very much promoting and encouraging videos, videos yep. is one of the highest engaged um, posts on, on LinkedIn as well. All right. So uh, on LinkedIn, and this is a, this is a noob question, dude. Noob question. That's right. Is there like a, a LinkedIn live? Like Facebook Live? Um, that's actually, I don't think they do have one. They, they might actually, to be honest. I don't know that question answer. The answer to that one. All right. Well, I'm just going to go with a no then. <laughs> All right. Now. Well, I haven't done one yet. So I'm not as, as video friendly as, as you are, Tristan. But no, I think um, but regardless, post, post video. Okay. Done. Check mark. Another big thing is <clears throat> increase your following. So this is what... Um, a lot of people have trouble with um, and they don't really know how to or how to go about it. But the more people that you're following and the more people that are following you, obviously, the more you know, exposure you have to the open market, to the, to the general market. Oh, so we should accept all those friend requests that are just sitting there. So that, I don't know, I mean, it's up to you. So Personally, if I don't know them and they're realtors who are not going to be my, you know, my potential client, I don't always accept those. But yeah, I mean, if, if it's someone who's like a thought leader in your local market, then yeah, of course, accept it. But it also means that you need to be inviting other people to be in your network that you want to um, see as a potential client and then talk to and have a conversation with and meet with, etc. Perfect. So makes sense. Thanks. Expanding, expanding network. Cause then also those same people are going to be looking at all your posts. So I have, I have 10, I mean, I started with about 500 followers about nine or 10 months ago. And now I have now? over 10,000 followers, 10,000 followers, <laughs> 10,000. Dude. Yeah. You're you just want trying some? to show off, man. That's what you're trying to do. You know, I don't know. I mean, let me check. Hold on. I'm going to check my followers. LinkedIn. Since I've never used LinkedIn, since you do it all for me, hold on. I can find it for you too. Uh, let me see where I'm at. You're probably going to get there first. Darn it. Tristan, you have 5,520 followers. Yes, which is half of you. I feel satisfied. <laughs> which is, I mean, which is better than 90% of people on, on LinkedIn. So, I mean, the average person that we first talked to has about 500 and they need our help to then increase it to, to obviously to the, the point where, where you are. All right. So tell me, I see, I see some things that some people do that I don't do, and you guys have mentioned it, and you say it helps a lot. The blogging or the articles that are posted in LinkedIn, um, you, you kind of touched on that a little bit. Can you, can you explain to us why that's important in the LinkedIn world? So just the articles that you post? Yeah, articles or maybe blog into. Is there like a blog feature in LinkedIn that, only circulates within LinkedIn or? So you can create, you can like write articles and post, <clears throat> um, like publish articles on LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. So which is kind of like a blog or you can just post links to articles that you oh, didn't write. Like we normally do. But like how about writing into LinkedIn? Uh, Cause I know Facebook at one point tried that and that, that didn't go over too well, but I see that on LinkedIn, it does really well. Um, is it because it has a whole searchable feature and then people can find you on Google based on those articles? You know, I think it's just them wanting to have you use their assets as much as possible. It's a feature that's allowed that, that they encourage. And so, so, so I, I published an article recently um, and it got decent engagement, but I don't think it got as much engagement as like a video would. Got so, it. I mean, I would say don't spend too much time publishing articles, like writing them yourself. Um, but I would just say continue to post good, authentic co content. Okay. Yeah.
good. But, I'm good, dude. That's good. Good answer. You win. But I mean, so, so there's a couple other things. So you want to be able to show as much experience as you can. Um, cause here, here's what happens when you're sending out these invite messages and messages and follow up messages, you know, having a really enhanced profile is good for a couple reasons. One is it'll help you show up higher on SEO results when people search for top realtor in Malibu or something. But the other thing is that when you're sending out invites and follow messages, what people are doing is they're looking at your profile first. They're seeing if you have any mutual friends or mutual connections. They're seeing what sort of experience you have. They're kind of, they're, they're looking at your profile photo and seeing, does this guy seem like a, like a nice dude or a nice gal? So, you know, okay. the way, I mean, how you put your best foot forward really, really matters. And so having a bunch of experience, um, showing them that you're top realtor, also, you know, getting, getting recommendations and, and giving recommendations is really important. So, you know, if, oh, if I don't, you, I don't ever give a recommendation. Now I feel bad. I mean, what, uh, <laughs> what should I be doing? You just, just give them, I mean, so you can like, you can ask for recommendations and you can also give them. Okay. But I mean, so it's essentially a testimonial. So if, if you're trying to solicit someone's business and they're looking for, um, you know, a testimonial on your service, your services, they're going to be looking at LinkedIn to see what sort of um, recommendations you have. Oh, so maybe, God. maybe I can be your first, your first recommendation that, that they give Tristan. Dude. Awesome. How do I know? I mean, if you go to my page, how do, where do we find that? The recommendation section. So I you want can to see if I've recommended anybody. You can ask, ask for a, a recommendation here. If you wanted to ask for one, um, let's go to your page. This way people can check out that section and start asking for recommendations. Is it kind of like reviews or just like recommending that dude's pretty cool. Like, like that Casey dude is pretty cool. Yeah, so exactly. So you can, um, it's pretty much like a review. So they want to, I mean, most people, most people that solicit recommendations, people who recommend them talk about the skill sets and the services that they received regarding a professional sort of relationship that they've had. So, I mean, here's one that, that you received from Grant Peterson. Oh yeah. He's a, uh, he's uh, one of my, one of my friends. So he, so he, he gave you a recommendation and look, and even, and even you have given a recommendation too. Oh, I gave one. It must have been a long time ago. So yeah. Dude, all right. So all right. So now you, you went over a little bit of <clears throat> the back end of, of how we should be setting up LinkedIn. Now take me through the feed and show me what I should be posting. And then right after, let's talk about is it sales navigator? Sales Navigator, yeah. Uh -huh. All right, let's go through the feed. Let's see some good stuff on, on what we should be posting. Should we be posting like we post on Facebook? Should we be just copy pasting? Uh, does it need to be different? Tell us. I want to know. That's what I want to know. Yeah, so I mean, it's uh, like, I, like I mentioned before, videos get the most engagement. Authentic videos get the most engagement. And then also just like things that you think people want to hear about that they may comment on and share about. Um, you know, one of, one of my best posts that I did recently was when my brother and I, we, we double ended a, a, um, a beach property and it got over 11,000 views because. Whoa, people, show me that. Was that? I'll leave that one. That's crazy, dude. And so, and, and I think it's because, you know, people were able to sense the enthusiasm. I was pretty excited about it, obviously, obviously. Yeah. But, um, people sense the, sense the enthusiasm, they congratulate you. There's a whole bunch of, oh, we're hiring a salesman. Um, oh, nice. let's see here. Oh, I see you're posting from uh, KCM too. Nice. Well, let me show my, my post, uh, Oh, I, I love how on the top it gives you the option to look through posts, activity, or uh, articles. See, you don't have that option in, in uh, you don't have that option in Facebook, which is really cool. Uh, I yeah. love it. So I see your mixes. Uh, there's your brother. That was good. Uh, so yeah, so, so this is the one that got over eleven thousand views. So, I mean, we sold this amazing beachfront property today, represented both buyers and sellers. Everybody involved was so pleasant to deal with. This is what makes real estate fun. You know, couldn't be happier for everybody involved. Check out the O'Toole Group Real Estate. Thanks, Sean. You know, so it's just an authentic kind of, I was happy. I was like, I'm so happy that we closed this thing. And 
Go up. And I want to check the top one, one up above that, above that one. That's <laughs> I want to see that. <laughs> I like John. So that's your brother, right? That's that's John. So this is um another beachfront that we that we listed and sold recently, and Dude, that's he was. Pretty- that's pretty good. Scroll down to see the views. That's pretty good for an open house video. 17, 1,700 views. And that's, and that's plays of the video. That's crazy, dude. That's actually playing that button, right? Mm-hmm. Not scrolling through and actually playing on its own. So it's that like about three seconds. People watch it for at least three, three seconds. All right. So it's a three second rule that Facebook has too. I love it, but dude, getting 1,700 views, that's just quite a, quite a few. That's a nice view f- to, the, to the ocean. Wow. Yeah, it was, a, it was a good one too. So, I mean, but what's also nice is that the LinkedIn has much more giving of an algorithm to expose your post compared to Facebook. I mean, you, you probably know now as, as well as anyone that if you have a business page and you want to promote a property, you have to boost it to pay, pay for it. So, um, yeah, it, on Facebook, we have to pay to play. You're telling me that... <clears throat> on LinkedIn, it isn't quite like that yet. It's not like that yet. Um, I mean, so and that's why it's important that you have a lot of followers because it's more organic. Exactly. So they, so you don't, have to, you don't have to pay to play yet. And so we got 10,000 views and I didn't pay a dime. You know, it, it's just, it feels like I went back to the future and I'm looking at Facebook five years ago. <laughs> that's it man LinkedIn today is where Facebook was five years ago but I'm so. Marty McFly okay <laughs> I'm Marty nice we well done so. so so yes I mean I mean the news feed's great um, post as much as you can but make sure that you put your your best foot forward when you're creating your profile um, all this stuff helps increasing your your following because LinkedIn has a great algorithm to kind of really expose you to the people who are following you so Make yourself a thought leader. Make yourself seem as though you're the, more, the most experienced realtor where you work. And then, and then just connect with a ton of people. Okay, so then let's get into Sales Navigator because that's the paid portion of LinkedIn. And most people I talk to, unless they're outside of real estate and they're in some type of a business as an executive or or at that level, they know what Sales Navigator is. A recruiter definitely knows what Sales Navigator is. So yep. tell me what it is a little bit and let's take a look at it. Sure. So Sales Navigator is a LinkedIn premium account and it's probably one of the number one tools for salespeople. Um, I know I have a lot of friends that are in sales in different industries and every one of them uses Sales Navigator. Um, Google wow. recruiters, um, account executive, SDR, every, every like sales position uses sales navigator because it's such a powerful tool to find the right people in the right location with the right amount of experience. It's just, it's, it's what you want. And you know, with, with real estate, you know, you can't really find, so even though you can't find buyers and sellers per se using their tool, there's not like a filter for people who are, you know, homeowners. But what you can do is you can find who would likely be the most affluent individuals in specific areas. Got so, it. you know, one of the searches that I love to do on Sales Navigator is, so we can say people who live in Malibu, California, mm-hmm. and this is where they live, who have more than 10 years of work experience, maybe like even less than a year at their current company or less than two years, because that means they may have just moved there from out of town, right? So you're, dude, you're using this as a reverse prospecting tool. Oh yeah. Uh-huh. I'm like, well, let's see. Uh, let's target everybody who's an executive or who has this uh, job level type in Malibu and they've lived here for six years or whatever years. And uh, let's, uh, let's see what we find. Oh, t- damn, dude. That's then pretty get, awesome. <laughs> then you get in like seniority level. So CEO, CXO owner, partner, founder, VP, all the more affluent titles, you can get into industry. What I, what I like to do is you even, even use Boolean exclusions. So we can say not realtor or real estate or loan or lender or student. So anyone who has those titles in their profile are not gonna show up. Wow. So you wanna make sure you really narrow it down. Um, you can you know, find people who have, you have mutual connections with. Mm-hmm. Um, you can find people who work in industries who maybe graduated from a certain university. 
Um, okay. People who work at companies, company headcount, company type. But this is such, I mean, let's just do a quick search. So when you're sending out these invite messages and follow-up messages, you're reaching out to, you know, investment partner of Cactus Capital, CTO at Headspace, VP regional sales at retirement, advisor, ambassador, lottery, chief creative officer. And so you're making these, I mean, it's like collecting business cards. And then you're collecting business cards from the most affluent individuals in, you know, whatever target market you're looking to reach out to. Got it. <clears throat> so let's say, um, let's say I want to search for, are we still in Malibu there? Yeah, this, this is Malibu. Okay, so let's say I want to go and search for all the professors or people that work for Pepperdine. Okay, so Pepperdine, so you can say, so that'd be company, so current company. Okay. Pepperdine University. Okay. That's where, that's where they work. Let's take out the years of experience just so and get rid of these. Because you have to be kind of careful because like, I mean, everything filters away. So you want to make sure you don't filter out people that you would want to reach out to. Okay, makes uh, sense. Uh, so you, let's see here, keywords. What would you say a keyword is on people that I'm trying to target that work at Pepperdine? Do you want to do professors only or? Yeah, let's do professors. So let's try. Um, Teaching professional, maybe? Oh, sure. professor, wow, okay. I like so it. There's 119 people who have the title of professor who work at Pepperdine, who uh -huh. live in Malibu. 119, dude, that is so niche. Yeah. Can you blast them out and be like, yo, this is Tristan, do you wanna buy a house? <laughs> yeah, you can do whatever you want, I'm yeah. so joking, do not approach that that way. <laughs> I will do that for you. <laughs> yeah, so you can, um, so, so yes, yes you can. So the best part is like being able to customize these messages to the right people. So if you have an association with, with Pepperdine, <laughs> Or if you used to be like a nurse at a certain hospital, yep. um, you could say, hey, you know, I see you work out, I see you're, you're a professor over at Pepperdine, wanted to reach out and, and um, connect, connect with you on LinkedIn. And then if they connect, we can send them a follow-up message saying, hey, thanks so much for connecting. You know, I'm a local realtor, but I used to, you know, be a professor at Pe Pepperdine or whatever you used to do. Whatever right, you're so doing. show me, well, I have a question where it says select all you see on, on the middle top, uh, 119 total results, select all. Mm -hmm. If I was going to select all, why would I select all of them? What does that do for me? Do you know? So all, all this does is it lets you save this search within, within sales navigator. So if you wanted to save this search and come back to it later, okay, you can do that. So, but all you right, wouldn't so really go ahead. Yeah. So, so you wouldn't really be using that as much unless you are, manually individually reaching out to each each person all right so casey Tristan. let's get into some magic dude <laughs> okay so this is something that's i think is absolutely amazing nobody that i talk to in real estate uses it this way some recruiters that recruit for some real estate companies do use it this way which is cool but very few as a real estate agent though Imagine being able to target uh, certain companies and targeting their employees or going like we did when we targeted the Rams organization mm -hmm. or like PC did when he targeted everybody that had attended um, Santa Barbara. What was it? You see Santa Barbara? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. <clears throat> and he did it in a way and we did it in a way that was automated, right? So we're, we're bringing in these tools that, that LinkedIn has there for us. Obviously we've had to upgrade our LinkedIn account to a paid one through sales navigator, which is part of LinkedIn, but you guys created something that ties into this that allows me to automate touching them in, in obviously not touching them physically, right? But reaching out to them and creating an automation from it so that we're trying to get business from it. And that, what they created is called my linked solution, uh, my linked solution.com. Is it .com or what is that? Yeah, my link solution.com. All right, while yeah. we're talking, you guys can Google or type into your domain bar here, my link solution.com. Can you show me how that works and why, why it's been so amazing for the few agents that have been using it for about a year? Yeah. So 
Um, one, one clarification is, is we don't like to say automation um, just because it's not necessarily automation per se. It's partially automated. It's, it's partially automated. It's, it's, yeah. it's, a, it's, it's, it's a hybrid approach. We have, we have a team of international freelancers that are kind of helping to manage accounts. And, but basically what we do is we, we manage our clients' accounts for them we get information from them, like what sort of market do you want us to reach out to? What audience do you want us to reach out to? They give us all this information. We then create these custom campaigns based on that information. Got it. And we start warm conversations <coughs> with this group of people. All right, so show me, show me how it works. Show me why this is so amazing. Cool, so let me show you, let me log into. While he's logging in, uh, I'm gonna tell you how we've been using it. And so it hasn't just been me. It's been a few of the people at LabCode. So we've got Barry Jenkins, uh, Kevin Markarian, Nick Baldwin, Sunit Agarwal, and obviously myself. And the way we've been using it is twofold. <clears throat> One is uh, we've been using it to get leads or inquiries, people connecting with us at a deeper level. And even though Casey says it's not automated, it, it really is. That portion of it is automated, that reach out, that connection. And then the other way we've been using it is to recruit. So we've been able to recruit people for our teams and people for our brokerages because of it. So now that he's open, is this, are we still on LinkedIn? So we're still on LinkedIn, yeah. So I went into um, to <coughs> my brother's account. <clears throat> to kind of show you what we do. Um, All right, shoot, explain it to me. Dumb so, it down for me. In fact, let me just go to someone that uh, I've recently worked with. So I'll go to my account. That's probably a better idea. All right, Mr. Hooper, you're gonna see how they're doing the chat bots or partial chat bots. <laughs> Hybrid. Hybrid chat bots, which by the way, has worked a lot better uh, than just going all chat, chat botted in. Uh, mm -hmm. We found that the, the perfect combination has been partial automation with a partial real person taking over. Yep. So, so it's, take over. it's authentic, authentic automation, right? <clears throat> yeah. Well, I like yeah. to call it, hold on, dude. Now that you brought that up before you get into the good stuff, <laughs> we at Lab Coats like to call it, you know, automation through authentic nurturing right and, oh, and okay, yeah because there's a partial automation involved but the nurturing part when is when we connect we don't know how how far in advance we have to nurture them sometimes it's quick and sometimes it's super long and that part really has to be authentic and what we mean by authentic is you either have to be absolutely amazing at creating that the bots so that they sound real or you have to bring in somebody that's actually connecting with them if it's not no. you. Yeah, no, because I mean, at, at a certain point, you want to be able to respond. You want to be the person, whether, I mean, whether it's one of your admin assistants, ISA is helping out, um, you want to have, you want to be able to respond to them in an authentic way and set appointments. So you have to kind of know what's going on, but. All right, but, so get into it. I want to see this. Got it. So here's, um, here's an example of someone that I was sent a message to recently. I searched for people who live in Santa Barbara, who have more than 10 years of experience, who, um, have less than a year or two in their current company. Okay. I ended up, I ended up sending a message to the, the, this wonderful gal, Emily, who's now a client of mine, saying, nice to meet you. I see you're a fellow Santa Barbara resident. Looking forward to connecting with you here on LinkedIn. That's the message that goes out automatically, right? That's the automated part. Correct. Okay, that's the message that goes out automatically to 120 people a day. Around, around 100. Around 100? Yep around 100 people a day without Casey or me doing anything, right? It's part of the system that they've created. So I'm out here doing a webinar and I know that on the back end, LinkedIn's already connecting with people throughout the whole day. So yep. I just wanted to bring that up right there so that people know what's <laughs> happening. Got it. So yeah, so, so we sent her a message. And then, first of all, also sending a custom invite like this, you get a much higher conversion rate of them actually connecting. You can send out a mass amount of, of automated connections from within LinkedIn to like everyone who you have in their, your database of Gmail contacts. 
And LinkedIn lets you do that too. But their, their generic response is so obvious that no, not many people actually respond to it. But when you send out a, a custom invite message, you know, we have mutual connections here on LinkedIn, you get a 30, 30 to 40% higher connection rate. So then, and then if and when they connect, then we'll send out an automated follow-up message saying, hey, thanks so much for connecting. I'm a local realtor here in Santa Barbara. Wanted to quickly introduce myself. I'm also a proud member of the local housing network, which offers significant closing cost rebates to all home buyers or sellers. Wait, wait. Is the local housing network something you created? It is. So it's, our, it, it's a website that we created. It's basically a glorified splash page that people can go to. There's a, markets, a free market snapshot, a home valuation, lots of just like lead capture tools. Very smart. So Very if they smart. go to it, <clears throat> click on links, then we can capture them as a lead. Okay. Dude, I'm digging this. And I already know what's happening and I'm digging it. <laughs> yeah, I know you. I know you're a fan. So yeah, so then, you know, we, we, so our whole message, our whole methodology is you want to create rapport, offer value, and then ask for business. So, you all, know, I created, all, in, all in that one message that you're sending out as the second message, right? Exactly. You want to be able yeah, because, and again, so what's happening here is before she even connected with me, she probably looked at my profile to see who I was, who I connect, who I was connected with. What, what my experience was. <laughs> Who's so, this crazy dude? Oh, <laughs> I know this guy. Or he knows people that I know. All right, I'll connect. So and as she, soon as she connects, the I'm message not, goes out automatically? Or, or how does that happen? It's usually around two or, two or three hours later, depending on you know, when, our, when we send them out. But somewhere between two and four hours. Okay. But So we send it out, and then we send them our, our, our value prop message where we create report, offer value. In this case, I'm offering up to a $4,000 credit at closing. Yep. And then we ask for business. Would you want to grab coffee next week? We can talk about your real estate goals. Let me know some days that work for you. you and then it. she responds, sounds great. I'll be back in town on the 30th. Feel free to meet some after that. We So at, at this point now, I took over or your ISA would take over and actually set the appointment. And so it's just, you know, how about January 2nd or 3rd? Great. ADM on the 2nd works great. Met with her, um, sent her to my lender. Get, she, she's getting pre-qualified. I showed her houses last weekend and she's That's a client. She became a client from this, from this crap that you sent? <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. It's, it's, it's authentic crap, right? <laughs> I know, bro, but it's still insane to me that that actually happened. Yeah. That's no, crazy. I mean, so here's, 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 um, I mean, being, being Keller Williams, right. Um, I've, I've taken bold. In fact, that's, that's where I first met you was in like the first week when I became a realtor, I took bold up in Westlake and you were, you were part of the, the program. There's a thing called the, the bold 100 where you have to ask for business from a hundred people in one day. Yeah. And one thing, one thing I like to say about this is like, you're essentially asking for business doing a bold 100 every three days because um, we send out 100 invites a day on your behalf, about 30 or 40 of them connect, which means about 30 or 40 people you're asking for business from every day. So every three days, you're doing a bold 100. Gary wow. Keller, would, Gary Keller would, would love it. Dude, that's a beautiful way of hacking things. Yeah, I mean, and, and, and it's not just real, I mean, it's not just buyers and sellers. I mean, you can use it for recruiting as well. We have loan officers on our, on our platform using it to get buyers. Loan officers like it because they love to generate business and then refer it out to realtors to establish better relationships with, with, their, with their realtors. I agree. All right. So, dude, you're on the back end here of, of mine. I mean, we could do this manually too, but can you take me to the back end of my link solution so that we can see what the power of it is after because people are like, well, you know what, this ex exists already or, or we can do this over here. And some people are saying, oh, this is amazing. Um, but yeah, parts of it isn't anything new. The part that's new to me is <clears throat> the fact that we keep all this information in the back end. And for me here on my link solution, it, it keeps all of the people who've engaged with me and I can separate them based on either stars or connections or who I think is great, right? And that's how we star them. And more importantly, we can download all of the information that LinkedIn gives us, which is their email, 
And in some cases, uh, Casey, if the phone number's on there, we can take that too? Yeah, so everyone who you're connected with on LinkedIn, let me just show you, um, let me go to Sean's. I don't, I don't want to give out her information. Show me but something if, sexy. <laughs> if you look at um, LinkedIn, if you are a first connection with someone, yep. click on see contact information, and you can see their email, their phone number, their title. So there's information that's available to you. Oh, his birthday's on the 31st? Coming up. Dude, that's my, that's my wife's birthday. That's awesome. Is it really? <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Now I like Sean even more, you see? He's going to be 40, man. He's getting old. <laughs> Dude, I beat him. I beat him. I'm a year older. Ah, nice. So, yeah, so, so this, this is all public. Um, well, not public. It's, it's available to people who you have a first connection with. All right. So this is how we've been using it because um, people may not connect the dots here, okay? We get their information here on the back end of MyLink Solution. We download it. And then we upload it into a custom audience on Facebook. And now, not only are we following them on LinkedIn through the things that we're doing here, but we're also following them on Facebook and Instagram through uploading it on the custom audience feature that they give us. And so with a lot of you freaking out with Facebook changing up things, well, you know what? It doesn't matter because we can do almost the same thing on LinkedIn grab that information and then build it into the custom audience. And now you're following them and, yeah. they see you, and they see you on all social media platforms at that point. So it's important to get, to get creative when it comes to this, because what you guys have put together for me, I mean, let's, let's just, if you can click on any one of those so we can see the information and how it works, whichever one you feel comfortable, put uh, click. Um, yeah, I mean, go ahead and explain the, that on the right side here. Yes, I mean, so this is just basically a portal. So this allows our clients to be able to respond to people from within our system back onto LinkedIn. Um, so you can respond to messages here. You can then rank them or categorize them as a one-star, two-star, three-star lead so that you can then stay in front of, you know, the highest quality leads. And one of our most recent kind of um, features that we added recently is you can now push leads into your CRM. So all I need is that little snippet of, of API code for whatever CRM that you're using. All right, so let's say we're in follow a boss, because we are. Okay. Uh, and we have got Firepoint too, so let's use follow a boss. <clears throat> yeah, so we would just say follow up in two weeks, and then that would go to follow a boss, whatever you want to tag them as. And now they're, you put them in a, into like a, a specific drip campaign or whatever. So yeah, so what I like to kind of mention is that you're right about you know, all this data is, is, is key and um, you can download it and then you can upload it into a custom audience. You can upload it into your CRM. So now these folks are seeing you on Facebook. They're seeing you on LinkedIn. They're seeing you via email, getting market newsletters, market snapshots, all these ways. And so, you know, I think that this is a, a great way to just increase your branding, especially during this like potential um, kind of market correction. This is what you have to be doing now because you want to make sure that they all know that you're still a realtor you're still active you're still the one to be reaching out to when they have any real estate needs i yeah. agree dude you caught me you caught me munching on a sandwich there in between i thought you were gonna go longer damn it <laughs> yeah no i mean it's just it's just a it's just a powerful platform to be able to generate business that no one's really doing and we just figured out a way to do it really well and it's just, it's just a gold mine. I mean, people are on Facebook. I mean, you can do, I mean, Facebook's great. Don't, don't get me wrong. If you have good Facebook funnels, um, dynamic retargeting, Y Lopo is like top notch. Mm -hmm. um, but, but my whole thought with Facebook is that you get a lead and that lead is being called by 20 other agents, right? Yeah. With, 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 with LinkedIn, you're, you're, you're getting a client. You're having this conversation with them organically and then you're meeting with them for coffee. So just the power of, of a lead versus a client is just, you know, to me, night well, and I think day. it's a big difference in the quality of person that you're connecting with here too, man. Like you saw, we saw Emily earlier on that you connected with. Was that his name? Her name? Emily? Yep, Emily. Sure. Okay, so you connected with Emily. I know that there's nobody else that's, that's connecting with her because it was direct. He direct messaged her, right? Yep. She said, okay, let's connect. There's a connection there. 
She has to willfully connect to that invitation that, that you said, hey, how are you doing? She checked you out. She made sure you were legit. And after she connected, she got your message. You guys engaged. That's, that's deep. You can't yeah. get that on, on Facebook in the same way. No, uh, it's, it's, just, it's, it's already warmed up. Well, right. there's a difference too. I, I've tried in the past connecting on Facebook and messaging everybody in the world. And guess what happens on Facebook? <laughs> uh, yeah. And over here, that's why it requires you to, to pay LinkedIn uh, for Sales Navigator, which is like 80 bucks a month. Is that what you're mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you pay them and then they say, well, since you paid us, We'll allow you to spam people, but there's a limit on to how many people you can spam a day, right? It's about yeah. You got to be careful. You got to be careful. Um, but, you know, luckily, none of our clients have gotten into trouble. There's activity limits. We always encourage people not to send out their own invites. Yeah. So like, let us, you know, if Plus, you... Casey, it, it's too time consuming, right? Yeah. I mean, imagine me doing this one at a time and then relying on bots to do this. Um, you guys have simplified it and you made it in a way where I can rely on it, not being flagged and, and being blocked. So you guys have taken me from the little amount of followers I had to over 5,000. And you guys have also given me the ability to grow my team even bigger through recruiting through this exact same method you just did. Yeah. You can recruit. So we use it for recruiting. Uh, some, some people like Sean and Casey use it for building their book of business. So um, go to, is there a page like my link solution so we can see the cost of this since we're wrapping up, bud? Yeah. So my link solution.com. Um, so luckily for all the lab code agent followers, we do offer a special discount where we, we waive the initiation fees. Okay. So, which is usually three forty nine. dollars um, But after that, it's just, 350, 350 a month out the door. And that includes the sales navigator or no? That does include it. So, so it would go 270 a month to us and then 80 a month per sales navigator. And that goes directly to LinkedIn. What does the 350 include besides those two things? What do you guys do for us? So we completely manage your LinkedIn profile. So we're the ones that are sending out messages for you, sending out follow-up messages. We're doing the searches we're finding leads for you. We also have the ability, if you want, we can also post content onto your profile as well, like article. Oh, dude, I didn't know that. Yeah, I've been. I'm gonna take you up on that. <laughs> you already are, Tristan. You just didn't notice oh, crap. it. <laughs> I'm gonna delete that comment. <laughs> yeah, so, um, so we, we can post content for you as well. So we can do content management, um, lead generation, uh, we're, we're searching for you. We're, we're the ones creating the scripts. Like we suggest certain scripts that are really effective. You can customize them if you want, um, but we know what works. So we do all that for you. Literally all you have to do is respond to messages as they're coming back into you. That's it. And set appointments. I love it. So how I do it, because I know that I get a lot of messages throughout the day is I have a virtual assistant responding and locking the, the appointments in because if I'm in the middle of something, I don't want to get distracted and do something else. Unless it's eating, I can eat and talk to Casey. That's okay. <laughs> uh, but if I have to go into my LinkedIn messenger and respond and take away from what I'm doing, it's not, it's not really fruitful and productive. Um, yeah, but that's so, how I do it. So, <clears throat> yeah. So the, the last little thing, so you kind of get a better idea of, of, of what we do. Um, if you wanted to talk to one of us individually, you can click here to sign up for a demo or, talk, or we can answer any questions you have. But click this link here. There's a, it brings you to our, our calendar. You can talk to me or one of our, our sales reps, um, and we can get you going. Cool, buddy. Anything you want to add towards the end now that uh, we're wrapping up here? Anything about LinkedIn? Anything about my link solution? Anything? Um, just, just, just use it. I mean, even if, so even if you aren't going to use our services, and I'm, I'm saying this honestly, um, LinkedIn is a powerful platform. People think that it's not being used by professionals, by affluent People are on there. They don't check it as often as they check Facebook, but when they do, they engage with people. So, I mean, you want to make sure you put your best foot forward. Take, take all the advice we gave earlier about the, the LinkedIn profile enhancement. Um, in fact, if you did use our services, we have a training video section as well that kind of goes through what I mentioned earlier. 
that shows you how to um, explains more of our local housing script, but we have training videos as well. But you want to be able to leverage LinkedIn. If you haven't used it yet, you've got to get on it. I love it, man. All right. So I think it's really important right now to diversify yourself and, and start using my linked solution. If you're going to use LinkedIn uh, more for the automation piece so that you can leverage tech, right. right? And, and start getting a little bit more business outside of Facebook, outside of Instagram. Uh, because there's, I, I always think it's the big four. It's YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and it's not Twitter. It's LinkedIn. Those are the yeah. big four. Um, but anyways, I'm putting up the link up there. If you guys have any questions, go up there, link it, message me. You can message Casey. Go take a look at Casey on LinkedIn and friend me. Don't friend him because I need to beat him. He's a 10,000 and a 5,000. <laughs> you have some time. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Thanks, Jason. Thanks, buddy.